say hey auntie y'all this is little wanda and she has known me since i was 13 years old and on top of that she is the trillest at alien you will ever meet also die hard falcons fan so that's why i call her auntie because she has been there since i first started doing other people's hair and you know i i don't take those relationships lightly so we have done so many different things to her hair but today we're going to be freshening up her ash blonde micro links she's actually well overdue for maintenance and i normally be back you know be like square up when i see clients who do stuff like that but we're not gonna square up today i'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna you know fix them and freshen them up So being hers are a little tangled, um, I'm going to start off with the length goals um, by Matrix. It's their extension line and I love it. It's the best. I have never had a shampoo, conditioner, and detangler do for extensions what this line does. So I'm going to start off by detangling it first. And then I'm going to follow up with the blow dry before we tighten. Now, for those who don't know what micro links are, it's a new way of wearing extensions. Back in the day, we would, you know, sometimes do like thin braids and attach the wefts to the braid. Well, things have a lot, a lot has changed, you know, but a lot of people want the versatility of wearing their hair out without dealing with that pain. So now we attach it using a bead and the bead is normally aluminum and sometimes they are, um, have like a silicone insert inside of them to kind of protect the hair from the snagging. But um, that's basically how you we attach the wefts nowadays. Um, it's, it's an older technique, I will say. It's not like it's brand new, but I will say it has gotten increasingly popular over the past, oh, I'm gonna say about three years. This has gained a lot more attention. Um, I've been doing them for about, uh, for about nine years now I have been doing them but when I was doing them nobody was really doing them and I really wasn't showcasing it it was like if you knew you knew but if you didn't you didn't so um I love it it's an excellent technique I think it provides a lot more versatility and it's not like you're in a commitment with it like a sewing or something like that you know it's you have a little bit more freedom to changing your hairstyle up so if you know if you're looking for an easier alternative and you want seamless versatility and you don't want to have to be committed to one hairstyle then this is definitely something that you should look look into now i will say that everybody is simply not a candidate for it like a consultation is mandatory for this type of, type of service however hey once you you know once you're cleared to get them then you know your possibilities are pretty much endless Now, Lawanda has a uh, double wefted micro links, and I did that simply because you see, her hair is not it's not thin, but it's also not super thick. And being that she wanted a drastic change, I was like, okay, we need to be able to add as much hair that we possibly can, and then also being that the wefts weren't um, super thick. And they were a little on the finer side that allowed me to double them up. So we were allowed to put a lot more inside of her hair. Um, now, she, now she started off with a bob. Um, it's about, it kind of comes down, you know, to like her neck. But um, like I said, we're doing a drastic length change. So we need to be able to install enough hair. So it's not a hard break between 
her length and the extensions. And you know, of course, blending is key. So the more you add, the more it will blend. Now there are three different methods of installing micro links. One will be the single web. Those are normally attached with beads. I like to use that method for people with finer hair who don't really have a lot of hair to cover wefts. I will do the single method because um, it's not hard to cover because it's not like it's too much hair installed. Second method will be the double wefts, which is my favorite. I think it's more interchangeable. Um, you can build up volume with the double wefts and uh, people with fine hair can get the double wefts as well, depending on how fine your hair is. But um, that's what we did today for Luana's hair. Her webs are doubled. And with the double webs, they are like hand tied or sewn, whichever term you prefer. And um, the bead is inside of the webs. So one web is on top and then the other is underneath. And they are sewed together to conceal so she can flip her hair up and, you know, any way that she likes. Um, the third method would be the eye tips. Those are the strand by strand, also known as the single, um, single strand um individual micro links and those uh everybody's not a candidate for those i will say that your you need your hair needs to be in a healthy state somewhat of a healthy state not necessarily long but healthy broken hair i, I would i wouldn't dare do that method for anybody that whose hair is compromised i would definitely go for the single or double weft but those are the three methods um, like I said, a consultation will be mandatory so you can figure out which one best suits your lifestyle. So y'all, let's do a little micro link um, question segment. I know some people have some questions regarding them, so we'll answer a couple of questions. Um, question one will be, are micro links damaging? Um, yeah, they can be damaging if installed wrong. That's the disclaimer. If they're installed right, you should not see any damage. You, sh you shouldn't see any damage at all. Now, some people confuse shedding after taking down extensions with damage. Those two, though they can coexist, they are mutually exclusive. Um, shedding, your hair is going to do that anyway. So if you aren't combing your hair every day and if those strands aren't being able to fall out like they normally would, Whenever you decide to take down that particular hairstyle or remove the extensions, it's all going to come out at once. So that's not to be confused with damage. That's something that would have occurred anyway. Now, you can also rip out your follicles, however, if you install micro links wrong. And I have seen that um, done. I've seen clients come to me with holes in their head due to things being too tight. And having a little um the little white bulbs at the end and those are their follicles literally like ripping out from the scalp so that's something to be aware of however like I said if they're done right you shouldn't experience that okay question to y'all how long do micro links last a typical install will last about 12 weeks on average um you know you can add a week or two depending on how, how good you care for it but i'm gonna say off rip 12 weeks 12 weeks is ideal so you can you know maintain your hair and whatnot now the plus to micro links is that you can still care for your hair while wearing them you know you can still keep it clean and that's the biggest thing and you can also stay on an adequate trimming schedule as well without going too long in between getting your ends trimmed you don't have to worry about your hair drying out because it's out it's all out so that's the plus to have um, to wearing them now for maintenance i normally keep my clients on a monthly maintenance schedule every four to five weeks i need to see you for maintenance because sometimes beads get loose you may brush it sometimes some things get snagged and that maintenance is important to make sure everything stays intact you don't have loose beads coming out if you have a loose bead you can easily comb it and rip it out you don't want those type of problems so every four to five weeks for maintenance however the whole install after 12 weeks remove it and you can get another one maybe like a month and a half later
Question three, what texture is most compatible with microlinks? Um, y'all, all textures are compatible with microlinks. It's not a thing of texture. It's more a thing of how is your hair being compromised prior to the install. So that would be reference to thin spots, alopecia, balding, um, thinning edges. Um, those are normally factors that would dictate if you can get them. Not so much texture because now we live in a day where you can go pick out whatever hair you want. So the texture is not the problem. You can easily be a match for extensions that match your hair texture if you want them to match or you can slightly you know kind of change it you know it doesn't have to be exact depending on how you wear your hair but that's not really a factor the factors in the hot spots are if your edges are thin sometimes you're not a candidate for micro links um if your crown is gone and you know it's thin i would say mostly just thinning because you have to have hair to conceal them like it needs to be able to blend Otherwise, um, you have a, you have to choose another way. Cut and dry, your hair has to be healthy. There's just no other way to install microlinks unless your hair is healthy. Now, healthy doesn't mean long. Healthy just means healthy. So if your hair is about five inches or six inches, then hey, you can get microlinks and you might be a candidate for a bob. You know, sometimes it's good to just fill in. You don't have, you know, all microlinks don't have to turn you into Rapunzel. Some are just used for for density for volume for fullness you know you might just want to change your look slightly so all textures are compatible however the state of your hair as far as health that's going to dictate now if your hair is dry i wouldn't recommend micro links either um like i said i only would do micro links on healthy moisturized hair that's it because if you put those micro links in and the hair is already not in a good state, you're gonna make it worse. Okay, y'all, so this is the last question. What are the pros and cons of microlinks? I'll start off with the cons. Um, they're a bit costly. They're definitely on the more luxury end of hair extensions, so the cost may not be suitable for everyone's budget. Um, they're also not really suitable for short hair or really super thick and dense hair because, um, I mean, it's just like you're just overwhelming your head with like pounds of hair. It, at least it'll feel like that. So those are the cons. As for the pros, they are quick and easy to apply. So, you know, your install shouldn't take longer than uh, two to three hours at the max. You know, that's, that's fairly good considering you have to press your hair out as well. Um, they are also um, don't require any glue or heat to apply. They're easy and low maintenance and they're also seamless and undetectable. So if you are seeking more versatility, then this might be an option for you. She's so cute. Y'all just look at her. <laughs> I love to see it. I love to see it. Lawanda's a chameleon. So in addition to microlink, she can wear she can wear pretty much anything. I've seen her rock short, long, red, blonde, black. I mean, you name it, she has pretty much worn it. Um, so she looks so pretty. And I thank y'all for watching. Uh come back next week. We're gonna have something else, and I will see y'all then.